Welcome back to this Computer Science One video series. In this module, we'll cover error handling. This module is broken up into five parts. In the first part, we'll give an introduction to error handling and several different strategies. In the second part, we'll cover how the C standard library approaches error handling using error codes. We'll then cover how to use a similar approach in our own functions. We'll also cover related topics, including enumerated types and unit testing. Let's start by introducing some general approaches to error handling. Errors in programs and computer systems are inevitable. It doesn't matter how smart, clever, or experienced you are as a developer, there will always be a risk of introducing bugs into a program. Besides that, there are plenty of errors that are completely beyond your control that you nevertheless need to account for. There is a difference, however, between bugs and errors. A bug is a defect or flaw in a program that causes it to produce incorrect or unexpected results. An error is a potential condition or state of a program or system that can be reasonably anticipated by a programmer. Bugs are flaws that can and should be resolved with rigorous software testing. We've been doing some testing up to this point, but we'll revisit this more formally later on. Errors, however, cannot be prevented, only anticipated and mitigated by writing code to handle the error situations. For example, some common errors that we've already seen would include bad inputs that lead to incorrect outputs. This is often referred to as GIGO or garbage in, garbage out. Other errors that arise from illegal operations, such as dividing by zero or dereferencing a null pointer, or more generally, mishandling pointers and other memory. Other general problems that a program may encounter may include missing files, limited resources such as memory, bad passwords, no network connection, etc. Clearly, you cannot write code that corrects these situations. You can't write a program that adds more memory to your computer or fixes a network connection, for example. You may not be able to recover from such errors, in which case they are catastrophic or fatal and should result in the termination of your program. Nevertheless, you can write code to detect such situations as well as handle and recover from other types of errors. Dealing with error conditions is known as error handling. There are two general approaches to error handling. The first is defensive programming, in which you write code to check whether or not your program is about to perform a dangerous, illegal, or invalid operation. Then before performing this operation, if an error would occur, we choose not to perform that operation. We can then choose to either fail silently via a no-op or no-operation, or we can choose to communicate the type of error in some way and allow the calling function to decide how to handle it. I like to call this approach looking before you leap, so that you check to see if you're about to fall and fail, and if so, decide not to leap. The second approach is exception handling. Most modern programming languages support exceptions. An exception is an event that may occur during the execution of a program that disrupts the normal flow of control. Usually we say that exceptions are thrown and may be caught and handled. In fact, the keywords throw and catch are often used. In contrast to look before you leap, exception handling says, go ahead and leap without looking. We'll catch you if you fall. There are many advantages to using exception handling that we won't go into here because the C language does not directly support exception handling. C does support signals and error handlers, which are close to the concept of exceptions, but not exactly the same thing. Instead in C, we generally use defensive programming. For the most part, error handling is done on the function level. When you call a function, that function is responsible for validating the input and checking for potential error conditions before proceeding. If an error state is detected, the function aborts its execution and returns. To let the calling function know that an error occurred, an error is reported using an error code. An error code is simply an integer that indicates the type of error that occurred or that no error occurred. By convention, we use zero for no error. We'll cover this in detail in the next part.